A waffle iron is a piece of equipment you only want to buy it once and you want to buy it right so it can last your lifetime. And today, Adam's here to show us which Belgian waffle maker brand is worth the money. Oh man, was it Waffle Palooza, <laughs> Julia? We set a price cap of $100, and you can see we have 13 different Belgian waffle makers here. That is here. a lot of waffles. We made a lot of waffles. We tested yeasted waffle batter and our everyday best buttermilk waffle batter. Here we have a Belgian waffle. You can see this guy is really tall and he's deeply pocketed, so it's gonna mm. hold a lot of butter and syrup and whipped cream. It's gotta be at least an inch tall to qualify as a Belgian waffle for us. These three machines in front of you, the waffles that came out of them, not an inch tall, so we disqualified them. Amongst all the others, there was a wide range in terms of performance. Some of them turned out waffles that were way too pale and gummy, like that one. Oh, sad waffle. Some were patchy looking, some were like overcooked and too browned. We wanted to find out what was going on in terms of the heating cycle, so we broke out the thermocouples <laughs> and the temperature tracking software, and that helped us analyze the heating cycles in these things. And here's what we learned. If they don't heat up, to 400 degrees, which was the case with this one, that's your waffle, that oh. sad, pale, gummy guy right there. If they heat up to more than 435 degrees, you end up with a cardboardy, like overcooked Ooh. waffle. That was the case with this guy here. So the ideal temperature range for the cooking these waffles was 400 degrees to 435 degrees. That's actually a pretty small range. That is actually a pretty small range. Timing also played a part in this. We found out that you can't really compensate for a waffle maker that doesn't get hot enough by cooking the waffle longer because texture suffers. It would just dry it out. It dries it out, exactly. So five minutes or longer, bad texture. What you really want, given that temperature range of 400 to 435 degrees, is a cooking time of three minutes to four and a half minutes. All right, that's All right? pretty specific. That is pretty specific, but that's what we're about in America's <laughs> Test Kitchen. Now let's talk about some of the features. One thing that testers came to really appreciate is an audible alert to tell you that your waffle is cooking or it's almost done or it's done mm -hmm. to go along with the indicator lights. Neither of these two had that audible alert. Now, in terms of the indicator lights, some of them were not all that accurate. They didn't really correlate to how well the waffle was cooked. Some of them, like this one right here, had nothing to do with the cooking <laughs> whatsoever. Really? There's a power light and a preheat light, but there was no oh. indication for how the waffle was doing in terms of cooking. That's not helpful. When it came to cleaning up, testers really liked a drip tray. Ah. Just because it catches crumbs, it catches batter, the it falls down, it makes the whole operation a little bit neater. <laughs> now we come to these two. This model right here is the overall winner. This guy right here is the best buy. Our winner is a rotary model double waffle maker. That's cool. It turns 180 degrees. This is the Wearing Pro double Belgian waffle maker. It's $89.99. Turned out two beautiful waffles every single time. It's got a dial to customize the doneness. It's got that audible alert and indicator lights that we liked. It's a fabulous waffle maker. However, it's not cheap. And that brings us to the best buy. This is the Presto Flipside waffle maker. It's not quite as customizable as the big boy winner, but it's $45.89. Oh, it's that's... pretty much half the price, yeah. and it turned out really good waffles. So half the price, half the waffles, because half... this is a twofer. That's true, it's <laughs> a twofer, it's a beauty. So there you have it. If you're buying a new Belgian waffle maker, you have two choices. You have the Waring Pro Double Belgian Waffle Maker. It makes two waffles at once, but it costs about $90. Or you have the Presto Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker, and that makes one waffle at a time, but it's half the price at about $46. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.